Good day, YouTube. It is the 8th of February, 2021, day after Super Bowl. I can I can tell you how of little interest the Super Bowl is to me that I don't at currently know who won. Better than that, I don't even know who played. So that's how un-into football I am. Anyway, we are here at Rest Area. We've just returned from a town called Silverton, Oregon. To grab another project. This one uh, is not only a project, uh, it's a uh, project with a purpose. Yes, it's another golf cart. It uh, is apparently a 1986 club car. It is a, I believe, 36 volt electric and uh, it's part of an estate. Um, and uh, my father in law is going to get back in the golfing game at nearly 90 years of age. Um, and he wanted to buy one of my golf carts that I'm not interested in selling. Plus their gas engine, I don't think he's really into that. So uh, I wanted to find a portable electric version that maybe I could just make happen for him and drop it off at his house or drop it off at the golf course either way. So this is what's happening. A uh, 86 club car. So we're going to swing by and show him this uh, ugly beast and then we're going to probably run it by the car wash and then we're gonna take it to the shop. Uh, it's been sitting for years, had four flat tires. I have the battery charger. Um, they say, well, we put new batteries in it, but yeah, probably 10 years ago. Um, and that's not new anymore. So I don't know if any of them will come back. You know, it's got nothing for voltage at this time. So I bought it with the intention that it needs batteries and it needs some work and uh, there certainly does. So let's uh, get her home and uh, we'll get started. All right, we have made it back to the shop with the uh, 86 club car, 36 volt electric. Um, I got rid of all the garbage that was in it. Um, I have some keepable stuff. My biggest uh, curiosity, of course, was batteries. These are apparently uh, going on nine years old. And um, maybe that one is not that old, but the rest of them are. Totally pooched out, totally corroded up. I did plug the battery charger in for a couple minutes. The needle never moved. These are junk. Absolutely junk. So, uh, thing is super dirty. Um, we're going to get it down to the car wash and make it not so dirty. Um, I, this is my first uh, electric golf cart. Um, I see it's all like mechanical. There's no like electronic controller in it. So, it uses uh, heating coils to uh, step up the speeds. Which is a uh, could be a good thing. So as long as solenoids are all working. So we're gonna soak her down with some simple green, and wander down to a car wash. Um, there was three hubcaps on it. I'd take them off to get air in the tires, and uh, we'll come back and assess it. Seat's not too bad. One little repair. Um, that tire's pretty dry rotted. The other the left rear looks okay. Um, I'm curious. I got a the set of tires off my other DS. Uh, let's go look at those real quick. See what I got. Uh, these are the four, so they probably fall under the categories usable. Uh, but we'll see. Might be something cool online I can find too. Um, I kind of like to have nice and nice looking tires on them, but we'll we'll see what we do. Somebody watching this video might know um, this hard-sided uh, doors and stuff. They look almost too good to be homemade, but yet not quite. So, do you think somebody built these? Or do you think it was a kit somebody bought? I mean, it looks pretty good. I've often thought about doing stuff like this even to a garden tractor but and the other door is just missing a hinge or something there's a bunch of holes in there looks like they've had all kinds of different hinges on it but you know some people just make it work so that one's missing half the hinge but we'll find something we'll get the other door on there might be pretty cool you can see he's got a little piece of pvc for his propane bottle heater so he was comfortable i guess that's what counts all right i'm gonna soak her down and take her to get it washed. Be right back. All right, we're back from the car wash. Um, that helped a lot. I gotta show you this though. Um, this thing's like 
sat forever and maybe they exploded a can of black spray paint but I took a some uh, it's gun and equipment cleaner for cleaning out your spray gun I just had this old gallon jug of it and uh, all that stuff wipes right off it's beautiful underneath beautiful it's too bad it's got a busted corner might have to rebuild that it's got holes for some lights still a switch and a fuse on the dash so I've got some old fog lights kicking around at the house I'll grab those put those on um, but that's gonna clean up nice and clean up quickly so that's good um, I even tried it on the back and uh, it's been repainted and the paint over it's not real good but um, still cleaning that junk off of it um, is great it's all gonna clean up presentable right that's how we roll presentable um, left front wheels leaking around the bead and uh, those are cords popping out <laughs> so uh, it's definitely gonna need tires the left rear might be the best of the fleet so I might grab one of the wheels from out back with the worst tire on it um, keep that one for a spare you know when you go to get a golf cart or something and it needs tires the right rears a uh, garden tractor tire lawn tractor tire it's not even a golf cart tire and it's shot so definitely we'll be putting tires on it um, there might be something in the used world it's what I did with my other DS um, I was able to find a set of takeoffs really really nice um, with the club car hubcaps everything on it they were just like new takeoffs I got the whole set for a hundred bucks um, way worth it I do that in a heartbeat for this one so um, I'm going to um, call around for batteries I actually did some research last night hang on let me throw the seat off of this thing I'll show you what we got okay so uh, I'm gonna study this for a little bit while wow, they put batteries in here at all different times so that one's 411 that one's 09 that one's 21 years old um, and draw a picture of how they're connected um, not that I couldn't figure it out but I want to know where we started from so um, what do we got over here this is negative and it's not connect negative positive to negative this is like the oh there's the end of the string okay I get it I'm up to speed I should have looked at this a little bit so here's the end of the string it's loose as can be and it goes into the forward reverse switch right there this is a uh, I'm gonna take the time to do this video for me and for anybody else um, that's trying to hook up batteries on a 36 volt golf cart so this is the end of the string so we go positive negative to positive to negative to positive to negative to positive and then we're tapped here for we're going back to the switch again I wonder why so this is three batteries so that's at 18 volts we should be 18 volts from positive no this is positive here positive positive but it could be this could be attached here or here so we're across three batteries we're series three batteries so this is 18 volts and I don't know why so I'm not saying this one's wired correctly because um, I question that but let's move on positive to negative to positive to negative to positive to negative and that's a very small wire that's coming to the charger and then the other side of the charger we find out where that's going loops back around okay so from that negative so from this positive all the way through to that negative that wire goes back to the motor okay and then the white wire from there goes back through the resistor bank to the motor okay 
So, I'm gonna make a drawing of this, take a picture of this, and uh, so I get it right. And then uh, I'll call around a little bit on batteries and uh, I'll get back to you, tell you what we're gonna do. Bang, how's that for fast forward? So, six new batteries, interstates. Um, I did uh, probably an hour's worth of online looking at batteries, you know, everything from, you know, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, um, batteries plus, batteries, bulbs, whatever, everything I could find, and to get, excuse me, I ate an apple, um, to get a good idea what I should spend for batteries, and I wasn't very happy about pricing I find, and it's all over the board, too, and, uh, anyway, I started looking again today and I uh, thought ooh we have a Costco here in town I'm not uh, I don't have a card but my father-in-law does so um, I called them and uh, he goes yep we have golf cart batteries they're $89.99 $15 core we have 21 in stock I go set six of them aside for me we'll be down to get them so I yarded these out real quick I had my father-in-law come by yeah, we drove down there together. Um, he wanted to pay for them, but because I'm going to loan the cart to him, I said, "Now let me own this cart, and uh, I'll, when you're done with it, I'll take the cart back, and I'll at that point figure out what I do with it, you know, sell it or keep it or I don't know. But um, I'm going to own it. Um, you're going to borrow it. So I also made myself a wiring diagram of this thing. Um, things that go to the charge port, things that go to the forward reverse switch, and then how they were setting in there orientation wise because uh you know it looks like the cables were all relatively short um, in fact in the ten to ten inch range to get everything tied together, but the cables themselves, what I took out of here was you can see them they're absolutely garbage. I don't have the hold downs on yet either, but anyway. Um, so I'm going to make cables for them. So uh, that would be next. We're going to go in the shop and make some cables. I'm going to button this up for the night. Um, these uh, little doors here, and they got some magnets down in the upper and lower corners. Bam. They actually hold pretty good. Um, I'll have to find a better hinge for the left side and put the other door back on. So in the meantime, it's sitting there, but weatherman has snow in our forecast, which we don't get much snow here in Oregon, but they got snow in the forecast here in a few days. So I'm going to button this up uh, best we can tomorrow. Hopefully it runs and rides and drives and all that jazz. And um, the tires, I think I already mentioned, are, as far as I'm concerned, they're junk. I might you know, keep that one for a spare or something, but yeah, the rims are kind of okay. This one here is leaking through the sidewall and in the bead the cords are popping out so there's a, a golf cart uh, shop custom shop in bend oregon which is like 130 miles 140 miles from my house and uh, they've got a stack of them like two dozen They've been selling them for a month. I've actually noticed them uh, on Marketplace. So I've been communicating with them, and they've still got a bunch. And uh, they're 15 bucks a piece, tire and wheel. So, which is, it probably cost me 10 bucks just to get a tire mounted. So, and the wheels are better than this. It's the dry high desert, so there probably isn't even any rust on them. So I might make this nearly 300 mile round trip just to get, um, a good price on a full set of matching uh, tires and wheels for this thing and then just swap them out um, maybe I can get some better hubcaps I'll show you what this thing came with with uh, for hubcaps that's what it had but unfortunately there was only three I looked around for the fourth but must have lost that one on the 19th green or something all right I'm gonna uh, close this up for the day and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow we'll put some cables together and uh, see if it works for you three seconds from me I'll see you tomorrow I told you it'd be just a few seconds it is the next day it is Tuesday morning and a brisk one it is this is my uh, hydraulic wire crimping tool it's a Harbor Freight 
um, works pretty good. I actually chuck it up in the vise for my purposes today. Hang on, let me unplug this light. Let me see if it actually works better with... No, it likes the light. Never mind. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, we're going to make some battery cables. I went to the uh, auto parts store to buy cables basically like this one with eyes on each end. And they actually didn't have any with eyes on each end. And uh, what they did have, you know, were more like a regular battery cable. And uh, they were actually quite expensive. But they actually sell battery cable by the foot. It's $2 a foot. So I need to make five 10 to 12 inch cables. So I said, oh, I need five feet of number four. And they had about seven or seven and a half feet or something left in the box. So they just sold me the seven and a half feet for the price of five. So I've got $10 in that. And then I got back, uh, well, just this morning I went out and started looking at the old cables. Obviously, I'm not going to reuse them because they're junk, but there's nothing wrong with a wire. So I think what we'll do is make uh, new cables out of the old wire. We'll just cut these ends off and crimp new ends on. Um, I should have some in my stash. Let's go see. This is where getting organized has really paid off for me, getting all of my wire connectors and stuff all in organizers and stuff um, and there's like all my spark plug wire terminals and things and some more miscellaneous up here so I'm just dealing in four gauge so let's get some ends two three four good enough for the moment and uh, let's uh, make some new cables out of the old ones and then uh, I maybe only need to make one more so uh, I'll put you in a stand and we'll get started here we go the shop's cold this morning I got three heaters going it'll warm up here in no time all right let's uh Start off by cutting these ends off. As long as the wire's not corroded or something, we'll be fine. If it is, you need to cut it shorter and get rid of the corrosion. But this is looking really good, so we'll strip it back. Use your lug the gauge, you know, about how far you need to strip it. You don't want to ring the copper, so, you know, treading lightly there. And we're going to whittle that off to the end. Something like that. And then we'll crimp it away. Make sure you got your number four die in the crimper, which I do. That's what's handy about having it in the vise. And uh, there's a close-up of the crimp. Um, being in the electrical field, I'm actually used to something quite a bit better than that, but um, it's a good crimp. So let's strip the other side. This would strip a little easier. It was a little warmer.
I picked these lugs up at my local auto parts store too. It's probably a little better pricing if you get them online, but this uh, crimper is not that square, so when it doesn't tighten up the greatest in my vise. See if I can get a different grip on it so it doesn't slip. One remanufactured cable. Let's do another. That was fun. Let's do another. Looks good. I really only need these, um, you know, no more than 12 inches. There's 11 like hole to hole. It's actually really good. This one can be a tad longer, I guess. But since throwing these away, the wire's good, right? We should be able to make this golf cart run here shortly this morning. Now that it's nice and cold out. Remember what these crimpers cost? They're not, they're less than a hundred bucks. I can't, I, ju I just can't remember what they are. It's been a while since I bought this one, but I sure like having it. It's time I go online and get a real good stock of crimp on lugs though, because they're a little hard to get locally for me anyway. Crooked. Back in for another cramp. Out of the vice. Mm. All right. Well, we got two made. We got three to go. So uh, I'll do the rest of them, and I'll bring you back. I decided to dress up the ends of the cables with a little piece of shrink tube because I got a bunch of it anyway. Kind of an optional step, but it might help, you know, keep the uh, copper wire from getting corroded in around that environment of batteries. Trick, of course, is getting it slid on. There we go. Like that. Might as well make these old used cables. I had to make one new one. 
It's kind of a lesson, though. I've thrown away many of battery cables, but I'm not going to throw them away no more. I even put new ones on my shop truck and threw the old ones away. I could have kept them and made new ones out of the wire. There. Now we'll fire up the torch. Shrink them down. There, the factory. Plus it's still really cold out and I was looking for another like five more minutes in here in the heat. Hey, we can go out there and put these new cables on and see if I got a working golf cart. I uh, was on the internet last night hunting for golf cart tires because what's on there is dry rotted. I think we looked at them yesterday. And uh, there's a guy an uh, hour, probably about an hour and a quarter north of me that has a set off of what he's claiming to be a brand new golf cart. Um, he originally wanted 200 bucks. He had reduced his price to uh, 140 I told him I'd be a buyer at a hundred, and he said that'd be fine. So after uh, five o'clock today, he said he'd be home. So I told him I'm still finishing putting batteries in this golf cart. Want to be sure it works before I spend any more money on it. And uh, if everything's good, then I'd run up there this evening and relieve him of his set of golf cart tires and wheels. And uh, it will be good. Last one. Okay. That finishes that. Let's go put them on. Well, guys, I think it looks like a very nice, clean installation. Our rebuilt battery cables. I put new ends on... The cables that were here that go to the speed controller and the uh, uh, charger and all that stuff too. So everything's new. Connections are new. I checked tightness on everything here. Um, we got to see now if it works. All right, let me uh, put you on the stand. I got the tires aired up. Got the trailer hitched to the truck again, and uh, we're we're aiming to see if she's gonna be a golf cart or boat anchor. gonna fly let's go for a ride okay Oop, I gotta hit the uh... sorry gotta shut the door so different than 
modern golf carts, this steps the power in and, and steps, so you can feel it's just, you know, a little jerky without, like, an electronic speed control. Click. Woohoo! Car's coming. We're gonna make a little U turn. Where'd it go? and we can go after the cosmetics of this thing. But, we got the hard part over, don't we? Let me, uh, get you out of here. So I think, we got a uh, good little cart. What do you think? I'll get some hinges today and get that other door back on it. And, I mean, it's an ugly little thing. We'll clean it up what it will and make it presentable and we'll get the new wheels and tires on it tomorrow probably all right we'll go from there guys thanks for watching the video we brought a uh, appears to be a 1986 club car back to life and made it a, a usable golf cart for my father-in-law and he's going to borrow it for as long as he wants it and uh when he's done with it i'll uh take her back and keep it or do something with it or sell it on or whatever but uh, it's uh, going to be just fine real reliable for him thanks for watching appreciate the comments subscribe if you haven't already hit the thumbs up on the way out the door and we will catch you guys on the next video